Hi there, my name is Emily and I work in customer success here at Dr. Dish, a role designed to help customers maximize their machines post-purchase. I'm going to walk you through how to set up your training management system account, which we often refer to as TMS. Visit www.drdishbasketball.com and locate the log in button in the upper right corner. This takes you to the TMS login page. If you haven't created an account yet, find the sign up button to get started. If you have, go ahead and log in. Once your account is created, you will also have access to the Dr. Dish phone app, which is needed for the Pro and All-Star machines to communicate with TMS. This account will also link up to your account on a Dr. Dish CT machine, which does not require any use of the application. Now, if you're a coach, trainer, or even parent who wants to oversee the stats of players, you'll want to create a team and invite your players to join. For every team that is created, a unique link is generated that you can send through text or email to your players. This is you granting them access to create their own account that will live on your team. As they shoot, save stats, they will funnel into your account for you to see and be recorded in that player's account over the span of their career. Just some quick frequently asked questions. How many teams can I create? You can create up to 10 teams on your account, but have as many players on those teams as you'd like. A player can also live on multiple teams. Say you want them on your JV and varsity roster. You can always navigate back to your roster to add more players or edit the roster at any time. I'm going to switch into a different profile to show you what a TMS account will look like after players really start to save stats and activity from the dish. Now we love this overview page because it really gives you a recap of how your team is shooting. Overall, and at the different level, twos and threes, free throws, and even down to specific locations. If you want more detailed info, dive into the different tabs or modules. Leaderboard breaks down top shooting percentages by player, and activity details out all the workouts saved from your dish. You can filter the date range for more specific time frame on stats as well. Now this is all at the team level, but you can also view this at the individual player level. Let's see what Anthony has been up to. That's pretty much it for the team section, so let's move on to training, which is the real fun stuff. Now this training library is always changing and updating, so don't be alarmed if you see this layout change. I'm going to start with the Dr. Dish training library. This showcases all of the workouts designed by us. There's a lot here, so if you want to be more specific, again, you can filter. Say I want a workout for one player that has two and three point shots. You know, they're at the beginner level, and this can be completed in less than an hour. Let's take a look at the five star shooting level one. Scroll through the drills to see what the player will be doing. Notice that there is a video and drill description associated with this drill, if the player needs more direction. All of this will be available to view within the Dr. Dish app or right on the CT machine. Next are pro trainers. Our pro trainers, some of the most elite in the world, have teamed up with us and created their own workouts to complete on the Dr. Dish. It would be as if they are in your gym training you on the dish. For example, let's take a look at Jordan Lally. He's one of my favorites. If I wanted to complete his quick security progression drill, I would select it, scroll through the drills, and watch the videos associated. And again, I can do this on the CT machine, on the computer ahead of time, or right within the app. He will teach me exactly what I need to do to complete this move and the drill. Like with any of the workouts, if I wanted to assign this to someone, I would simply hit Assign Workout, select the players from my roster, and choose the date range. Within the Assign tab are all of the workouts that I have been assigned or the ones that I've assigned to my players. So it's really easy to go back in and look at what my coach wants me to do or, as the coach, what I want my players to do and who's completed it. Within the My Training folder are the workouts that I have custom built using the Build a Workout feature. Meaning, yes, I can create my own workouts exactly like all the ones I just showed, even down to being able to upload my own instructional videos. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. Lastly, we have Programs, which takes multiple workouts with a specific focus and stretches them out over a completion period. The 2K Shot Club, for example, is a two-week program where the player will get up 2,000 shots. To see what this consists of exactly, click into it and scroll through. The best part, as I complete the workout, they're checked off, which makes finishing an entire program really satisfying. Before I show you how to create your own workout, you may be wondering how all these workouts get to the machine. As I mentioned before, if you're using an all-star or a pro machine, you will need to download the Dr. Dish app and log in. Within the app, you will see all of these workouts and programs I just referenced. You will connect your device, 
to the machine via Bluetooth, whether it be a phone or an iPad, select a workout, and press play. The machine will then pre-program to the attributes of that workout and move the player through each drill until they complete it or hit pause. From there, the player can save their stats to their profile. If you have a CT, the workouts are accessible directly through the CT touchscreen and no action with the app is required. Now I will show you how you can build your own custom workout. Keep in mind that building a workout which consists of multiple drills must be done on a computer. Go to training and find the build a workout button. Now if you don't see this button for some reason, it's because you've been set up as a player and we can always upgrade your account if needed. In this first page, I'm creating the workout overview. So I'm gonna name my workout and provide, you know, the overarching attributes. So we're gonna call this Piper Shooting. I'm gonna set it at a level two. We're gonna be doing twos, threes, and a little bit of free throws. I'm gonna have this be designed for one player. Now know that none of these fields change how the machine operates. These are used as a classifying tool for you. So say you build 50 workouts, how do you remember Ooh, what level player was this designed for? Or what type of player was this designed for? Some of these fields are also optional. So if you decide to bypass how long it's gonna take or how many players it's designed for, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna put in complete conditioning, two and three point shots with free throws. Make sure that you select your current model. And lastly, with this dropdown, notice that you can also choose the location of the dish. Our all-star and CT models allow for away from the basket training for game spot passing and finishing at the rim. You could build a workout in that way, which is a pretty cool feature. But for this workout, let's leave it underneath the hoop. Now I'm creating the first drill in this workout. Let's call this zigzag twos. Now you can also upload a picture or video to accompany this workout for further direction. So I'm gonna have the player make 50 two point shots in a zigzag pattern. I'm gonna pretend like my players know what this drill is, so not too much instruction is needed. And again, I could leave this blank. And I also need to pick two point shots so that the machine knows how to attribute these stats to my profile. Next, pick your drill goal. Notice the five options that you have. The descriptions are below in case you need more detail. I'm going to choose made. Notice the highlighted region on the court. This is the area that I can choose spots for the dish to pass to. I'm going to pick my spots to complete what I call zigzag twos. So I'm gonna start at the baselines, then onto the wings, and end at the top of the key, kind of like a zigzag pattern, or that's what I call it. Now I can undo and select any spots in any order, which is super cool because it's the only machine on the market that you can do that. The drill attributes is where you really define how the drill works. So I'm gonna choose five balls per location, a tempo four, and set that goal to 50 as I had described in my workout overview. So the player will shoot five shots at each of the five spots and continue through that cycle until they make 50. I'm gonna tap on save drill, and add the next one. Next, I'm gonna have the player take a little bit of a break and shoot some free throws, but I'm gonna have them make five in a row. So the interesting thing about this is this could go quick or it could take the player a while. The machine will hold them accountable. If they make four and miss the fifth, the count starts over. Let's save and add another. This one, I'm gonna do four spot set threes. So I'm choosing three point shots so that the dish knows where to attribute the stats to. This time I'm gonna do make it mode, which is make a set amount of shots before moving on to the next location. Choose four spots. Tempo five is good. And 10 makes per spot. In all, the player will be done with this drill once they make 10 shots at each of the four spots for a total of 40 makes. Save drill. So here you can see the total workout overview. Again, you can go back in and edit this. You could add another drill. You could edit um, these specific drills in here one by one. Now this workout will automatically save to my training, but if you want your players to complete this workout, you'll need to assign it to them, which you can also do with any of the other workouts in our library, as I showed you earlier. So this is just an overview of the Dr. Dish training management system, which is truly a game-changing tool for coaches, players, trainers, and parents. If you have any questions about how things work, please reach out to us. As I mentioned in my intro, I'm a part of the customer success team here at Dr. Dish, which is a job specifically to help customers understand how they can maximize their Dr. Dish. We hope to add you to Team Dr. Dish, and if you already have one, can't wait to see what you put together for your players.